Here we will see a very important question from the chapter sequences and series. Here question is find the sum of the series 1 into 2 into 3 plus second term is 2 into 3 plus 4 plus third term is 3 into 4 plus 5 into 5 plus up to n terms. Okay? So we have to find the sum of this series up to n terms. So here first of all we should see the pattern of this series, pattern of the terms of the series so that we could write nth term. So here given series is given series is 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 like this. Okay? So, what is its nth term? Let us see the pattern. This is first term, so starting from 1. This is second term, so starting from 2. This is third term, starting from 3. So, naturally the nth term will start from n. So, this is one factor is 1, n, n. And 1 plus 1 is 2, similarly 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, similarly here n into n plus 1 and again plus 1. So, n plus 2. This is nth term of the given series. So, first of all you should write, you should recognize the nth term of the given series. So, either this can be written on the basis of our observation or you can use a formula to find nth term okay because this is one that is uh, suppose this is an ap which first term is one and common difference is one so whenever you will use the formula tn is equal to a plus n minus one into d here a is one and plus n minus 1 into d, d is also 1, 1, 2, 3 or you can see this is it. in first factor there is a change of 1 only, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, isn't it? So common difference is 1. So finally you are getting 1 plus n minus 1, this is equal to n. This is first factor. Similarly, when you will use this number 2 that will be n plus 1. Whenever you will use this number 3, you will get n plus 2. So, you can write this nth term by observing the pattern also. Using of this formula is not required at all. So, this is n term. Now, we have to find sum. So, sum of n terms that is sigma of T n that is sigma of n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. So, first of all we have to multiply these factors before applying this sigma. Okay? So, this is sigma n into this product will be n square plus 3 n plus 2 and this is sigma multiply with n. So, this is n cube plus 3 n square plus 2 n this is the value of Sn. Now, you know sigma is distributed over all the terms. So, this is sigma n cube plus 3 into sigma n square plus 2 into sigma n. Now, we have to use some formula. You know the formula, this is sigma n cube, sum of cubes of first n natural number. So, you might be knowing this formula. We have already discussed in previous videos several times. So, sigma n cube is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square or this can be written as n square n plus 1 whole square by 4. So, this is n square n plus 1 whole square divided by 4 plus this is sigma n square. So, you know the formula sigma n square is n into n plus 1 
into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and 3 here is multiple. So, 3 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 plus 2 into sigma n. You know sigma n sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, this is 2 into n into n plus 1 divided by 2. This 2 will be cancelled out. This 3 will be cancelled out here 3 to the 6. Now, we have to simplify it further. You see here n into n plus 1 is common in every term n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 here also n into n plus 1. So, that n into n plus 1 can be taken common and you see what will be the LCM of denominators. So, here denominator is 4 here 2 here 1. Okay. So, LCM will be 4. Now, from here we can write n into n plus 1 plus you have to simplify it. So, 2 to the 4 that 2 will be multiplied with this numerator and n plus 1 has been already taken common. So, 2 into this much. So, 2 into 2 n plus 1 and here n n plus 1 common denominator is 1 here. So, 1 4 is 4. So, 4 will be multiplied with numerator. So, 4 times of this much, but n n plus 1 is taken common. So, plus 4 and this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 4. You have to simplify it here. So, this is n square plus n plus 4 n square plus 2 plus 6 correct and uh, this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 4 and this is n n square plus 4 n square this will be 5 n square 5 n square plus n plus 8 plus n plus 8. Okay. So, now let us write the next step. Here n into n plus 1 is common in every term. So, you can take n into n plus 1 common and denominator is here 4, here 2, here 1. So, LCM will be 4. Okay. Uh, rest part is here n into n plus 1 and plus n into n plus 1 is common. So, 2 to the 4. So, 2 will be multiplied with 2 n plus 1 and here n n plus 1 is common. So, 1 4 is 4, 4 into 1 that is 4. Let us simplify it. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 4 and here we are getting n square plus n plus 4 n plus 2 plus 4 and this is n into n plus 1 divided by 4 and here we are getting n square plus 5 n plus 6 n square plus 5 n plus 6 and after factorizing it you will get n plus 2 into n plus 3 factorizing this quadratic expression. After factorization by splitting middle term we will get n plus 2 into n plus 3. So, finally, answer which we are getting is S n this is sum of n term of this series is n into n plus 1 into from this factor we are getting n plus 2 and n plus 3 divided by 4 this is the answer. So, hope you have understood the process, you have understood the steps and you got how to find the solution. So, simply first of all you have to write the nth term T n and then you apply the sigma and wherever these formulas are required you put the values of these formulas and simplify it you will get the result. So, question is very interesting, very simple and very important as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.